So you want to learn how to play a two-on-one as an attacker. Now I've done the inverse, I've done a how to play a two-on-one as a defender, which we'll link up here. But in this video, I want to go over the mechanics that you can use to create what Daryl Belfry calls a dual threat. Now a dual threat is important because it allows you to create the mechanics that allow you to shoot and pass. When you have those mechanics that has the defender and the goalie have to back off and then second guess where you're gonna go. And you, as the attacker, if you have the right mechanics, get to choose which option is best. So if the goalie and the defender are cheating, you get to make the pass. And then if they are not, you get to make the shot. So that's what allows you to be successful on a two-on-one. So we're gonna go over the mechanics uh, for that. So the first mechanic is coming in. I'm on my off wing here, and it is using a soft drag to the middle. Now I don't have a lot of speed, so it kind of is a little tighter than usual, but if I come in with a bit more speed, that's the move. Now what this does, this mechanic does, is it allows you to either shoot or it allows you to pass. And what it allows you to do is, is it also moves your angle in. So you have a ton of control while you're soft dragging and it allows you to make that pass across or to the middle. And as you have a ton of control, if the defender bites, you've got a couple options. You can anchor around this way, or you can just let your shot go, or you can make your pass happen. So that looks like this. I'm coming in, and then I can soft drag, and I can anchor around, or I can come in on the soft drag here, and then, and then release. So those are my options from there. The second mechanic that you can use is uh, a punch. So if you have a lot of speed, but not a lot of space, you can do a punch. And then what that can do is that can allow you to make your pass, but you can also still shoot from there and you gotta make sure to hit the net. So that's your second mechanic is you come in here and then you're punching and then shooting or passing, you have that dual threat. So that's the footwork there is the punch. And the last is just a simple Nate McKinnon mechanic where you're coming in in a corkscrew, and then you can still make your pass across or shot from there. So when I say it's a corkscrew, the key part to this mechanic is that you come in, and then you have your weight to the inside edge here, and then you can pass or shoot. Now moving to the other side here, the adjustment is that you have kind of less options. Uh, so what you wanna be doing here as a mechanic is you wanna be anchoring. Now you don't have to anchor, you can just come in, but the anchor again allows you to create that dual threat. So if I'm coming in with a bit more speed and I have my defender here, I can anchor and that allows me to pass, but it also allows me to shoot. Now, like I said, you don't have to do the anchor, but what it allows you to do is it allows you to have that dual threat so that you can choose. So if you wanna have the dual threat on a two on one when you're attacking, which is gonna give you more options, then you need to learn those mechanics. So either the corkscrew, the soft drag, the punch, or the anchor. Now, if you wanna learn how to do those mechanics, that is something that we teach in the downhill skating system, step by step and uh, we've prepared a free training for you to learn how to do that. So if you wanna learn that, click the link and uh, join us in the free training to learn those mechanics so that you can apply them to your two-on-ones to get dual threats, score more goals, and have more assists. So anyway, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.